there are two um, concepts to consider in the architecture. First of all, the um, layers, which are the um, different areas of action, and the second is the components themselves, which can either be core or um, optional or variable. So if we look at the three tiers to start with, the three layers are firstly the um, data collection layer, so this is where we gather information about the students and the things that they are doing. The second is the storage and analysis layer, so this is where we hold the data and do things like um, make predictions on it. And then we have the most important layer, which is the action layer. This is where people actually do things based on the predictions. So um, if we look at the diagram, we'll see that the elements are coloured blue and red. The blue items are the core, so these are the bits that everyone uses, and the red items are the um, optional items, the items where you could choose different options or not choose an item at all. So if we look at the heart of the diagram, we'll see up the centre sits the Learning Records Warehouse. This is the core of the project. It's um, a central storage for information about the student and all the things they do. Each institution has their own records warehouse, but the data is held in a standard format. This means we can do interesting things like have anonymous comparisons of student activity and all those sorts of things. So once we've got the Learning Records Warehouse, we have to get data in. That's um, done at the bottom layer. We've broadly got two concepts. We've got data about the student. Typically, this will come from a student record system. It will include data about the student, the courses they're taking and what they've achieved. This kind of data is relatively static. Then you get the big data. This is the data about the things the student does. In the first instance, we're collecting these from places like the virtual learning environment, um, from library systems. We're starting to look at presence data, so was a student in a place, and attendance data, were they somewhere that they should have been, and um, other data sources, for example, wireless systems, that kind of thing. So all of these systems leave a trail of data that we collect in a standard format. Um, these are then um, put into the learning records warehouse, typically in real time. So we've then got a big data source about the student. The next thing we want to do is to, to do some interesting stuff with it. The, the first part of this is a learning analytics processor. So this is a concept where a system looks at the data, looks at a whole bunch of historic data as well, and figures out whether a student is going to achieve a certain state. So this would match onto your aims. It could be, will a student pass their course? Will they get a first class degree? Um, anything that the institution wants to predict. You notice this is a red option, so this means that there are various different components um, that you could put in this place. We've got an open source component, there are a large number of commercial players in this space as well. But typically they all do the same thing, they output a prediction. So this moves us up to the action layer. So the important thing about a prediction is that somebody does something. So we started off um, thinking about learning analytics really from a dashboard perspective. The problem with dashboards being at the core is that somebody has to actually look at a dashboard. Um, so they're reactive. And you could make the argument that a lecturer who looks regularly at a dashboard is also somebody who has a good idea of how their students are doing. So we need a more kind of proactive mechanism. So this is where our concept of an alert and intervention system comes in. So the institution assigns somebody to be um, responsible for a student. This could be a, a tutor, it could be a retention officer. It varies from institutions. But the system receives an alert that the student needs some action. Um, at this point, the concept is that the person will do something to help the student. They'll record the actions and the action will actually go back into the learning records warehouse. So if we do this, we can start finding out what interventions actually work. Um, the next part to um, look at is the student app. So this is very much a student app rather than the student app. What we wanted to do was to show the sorts of things that can be built on top of the Learning Records Warehouse. We shamelessly based the app on a fitness app. Um, it's got social features, allows students to compare their um, 
their activity with high achievers, with their friends, all of this is based on a consent, so they have to allow this to happen. Um, what we want is for institutions to try this. We know it will appeal to some sorts of students um, and not others, but also think about what other things can motivate students. At the top layer, we've got um, two blue elements. The, the first is the consent platform. Um, when we started the project, we actually thought this was going to be a um, more critical part of the project than it's turned out. Um, so we assume to start with that institutions would need to collect um, explicit consent from their students. We found that that's actually not the case in most instances. It's covered by existing um, agreements with students. So we're keeping the concept in. We have a small number of institutions who've taken a different view. Um, and it will be a lightweight service um, if, if we do go down that route as an actual component. At the moment, it's a um, single item to help students give consent on their data that they collect from the student app. Um, so this isn't covered by existing agreements because it's new data into the ecosystem. The next item is the Data Explorer. So this is a really simple visualisation tool. Um, so we've got data in the warehouse. You want to be able to actually see that it is the right data and do some very basic analytics. So Data Explorer lets you start looking at the data as soon as it's collected.